Unfortunately, we had another terrible act of gun violence that affected our community. Currently at this scene, which occurred at 104th Street and uh, 109 Court, there was some sort of uh, graduation party occurring that was just finishing in the parking lot of the strip mall behind me. Uh, as patrons were leaving, one or maybe two vehicles pulled up and began to fire at the crowd. Uh, we have five persons shot, three deceased, two deceased in a vehicle that crashed into Miami-Dade County College, South College. One victim is deceased at the hospital, and it's with a heavy heart to say that that victim is a, from where we're being told, is a Florida corrections officer. Our condolences go to her and her family and to the other victims here on the scene. Right now, my detectives are actively working the scene. Anyone who has any information, please call 305-471-TIPS. And I just tell you, it just goes to show you the magnitude of this gun violence issue. It doesn't just affect community members, it affects the law enforcement community. We all have to band together. This, this violence has to stop. This is extremely frustrating. Every weekend, it's the same thing. And we just gotta band together. We, we did Operation Summer Heat, made a lot of arrests, seized a lot of farms, and here we are again. There's a lot of work to do. We gotta get together as a community and make this stop. Director. Um, so we have a, how many do we have a total at the hospital that have been affected by gunshot wounds? Yeah, there's five to six victims, stable condition, and gunshot wounds, and we have the three deceased. Now the shooting didn't occur in Miami-Dade College, huh? The shooting did not occur in Miami-Dade College. It occurred uh, just south of it at a strip mall here behind the Shell gas station. The and then they drove people? to the college? The other no, victim? one vehicle that was fleeing sped across 104th Street and crashed into the wall of Miami-Dade College. Miami-Dade College is not involved in the shooting. So they were trying to get out of the shooting and they ended up crashing their car and two people in that car died? We're still trying to see what is their relation in the shooting, but we do know that inside that car with the victims, there's a firearm. Inside the car that crashed? Yes. Okay. And there were only two people in that car, both yes, of who are deceased? Both are deceased. These from the crash or from gunshot wounds? We're investigating that right now. We don't know yet. About and how many people were in the crowd when the people started shooting? I'm not sure. I don't have that information right now, but there was a, a gathering of people. And it was some sort of, it may have been a graduation party. We saw a car at the hospital that had bullets in it, windows shattered at uh, Jackson South. Is that connected to the scene? Yes, the, the uh, victims in that vehicle drove themselves to the hospital. What do you, you know, I, there was such a show of force this past week at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters to kick off Operation Summer Heat. You talked about it. And it, it seemed like, especially with the arrest you made, with that banquet hall being told to shut down, it seemed like there was progress being made. And then this happened. Yes. How, what does that tell you? How are, how are you and your department feeling about that? We have to overcome this as a community, as a law enforcement community. It shows that there's a lot of work to be done. We're not going to stop. We're all hands on deck. I mean, this is a setback. Without it, does a terrible tragedy for our community. But that shows you the importance of why we have to have Operation Summer Heat. You know, it goes across the county wide. As we, we had one in the north end last weekend, here we are in the south end of the county. So that's why we all have to be all hands on deck because it's just not specific to one area. We have the numbers. It's three people dead and five to six people injured. Yes. And where they how do they get to the hospital? Uh, some of them self-transported to the hospital, and uh, I, all of them actually drove to the hospital. And it was all Jackson South? Yes. Jackson South, and there may be Homestead Hospital as well. Mm -hmm. And 
Which business was this connected to? Maybe the okay. Hoka Lounge. There's two businesses there. There's a Hoka and a, and a restaurant there. Are but it happened, still, it happened yeah. outside the Outside, room, right? Yes. It wasn't, uh, it, there, no. no one went inside, they no. drove by. It was outside. And it looks targeted again. So you think this is possibly another retaliation and the shooting? And the it looks like a targeted shooting. But it has You're nothing to do with the El Mula shooting? That we don't know of, no. And what? And it's still early for that. We're still, you know, we're in the preliminary stages in this investigation. Do we have a description of the suspect vehicle? We heard it was a Chevy Malibu and a Toyota. Well, we know right now there's a dark color possible Chevy Malibu and a white uh, Camry that's preliminary right now. And then we have the other vehicle that's uh, crashed in the, uh, in the college. Do we know um, the breakdown of male and female victims? How many of each? From what I know right now, there's three female victims, one of which is deceased with, uh, with a uh, gunshot wound, and she is the Florida State Corrections Officer. Do we know which jail she worked at? No, I, I don't have that information. So George, it, George, I know that, you, that as he mentioned, summer heat just got started to combat this violence. Um, it's a 12-week program, and it just started on Thursday. We clearly don't think that we're going to be able to solve all the issues over the weekend by Sunday. These things are, may continue to happen, but we're going to still show a force and be able to break the gun violence down. That's why it's an extended uh, operation, because as you see, this violence is, is, uh, is very random throughout our community. And, and I can tell you that law enforcement is fully engaged, the community is engaged, and, and we all got to work together to stop this. I mean, it just has to. We cannot continue with this series of gun violence every weekend. You've seen it around the country. We got to stop it here in Miami-Dade County. There's a, another victims, other families that are destroyed over senseless gun violence, over stupidities, reckless shooting, innocent people getting hit, a corrections officer getting killed. I mean, how much more can we, can we show how dire this situation is? And that's why it requires all of us together. There's not just one remedy, it takes all of us. That's why I will keep pushing that message. The corrections officer, I, I assume that she wasn't here obviously working or in uniform, but do you think in any way this was targeted towards her or do you think she got caught up in the situation? We don't know, we don't believe so. I think she's just another innocent victim, like the many innocent vi victims that we're seeing with these type of cowardly acts, of individuals taking guns to, uh, to resolve grievances or, or vendettas. Is South Florida safe? I mean, you know, I, I, it sounds like a loaded question, but there are so many people who are just going out to dinner, to an event like this, and for no reason for their own, someone drives by in a car, someone walks up and opens fire. Is South Florida safe? I can tell you, it's all of law enforcement is doing everything they can to keep our community safe. And the question you got to ask is America safe? What's going on in American society? That's, I think, the larger question that we need to see here because this type of violence is not like it's only happening in Miami-Dade County. What, what's happening here, this plague of gun violence, is happening throughout our country, throughout our youth, throughout our communities, and this is the new pandemic. This is a, a serious issue, and uh, it, it requires a, a, a significant response to this, not only locally, but nationally as well. The, the graduation party, it was in the restaurant or in the hookah lounge? I'm not sure if it was in the restaurant or for the hoop. I'm not sure. I just know that the incident happened in the parking lot onto the street right there, that small street over there. Somebody in two vehicles shot the crowd? Two, the two as of right now. Could be more. That's all preliminary. This is from witness statements that we're getting. And around what time did this happen? About two in the morning. And did, was, who, who was it who called 911? The victims or bystanders? Received. Uh, multiple calls, uh, shots fired in the area. Our, our officers immediately convened in the area, converged, found the vehicle crashed up against the wall, and uh, a lot of people had scattered, but uh, multiple calls came in. In the car that crashed, you said there was a gun inside that yes, car? Yes, there's a gun in there. Okay. But do we believe that the, the occupants were victims of the shooting? Or suspects? Or? We don't know yet. We don't know. Spanish. Director, explain a little bit what happened here. Yeah. Tenemos otro acto de violencia con arma. Eh, había una fiesta que se estaba terminando aquí en la área de la 104 calle, la 109 avenida. Cuando las personas se estaban yendo de la fiesta, dos carros vinieron y empezaron a disparar a, a la, la persona. Eh, un carro corrió contra, eh, cruzó la 104 avenida, eh, calle y chocó contra una pared en Miami Dade College South. El tiroteo no pasó en Miami Dade County South. Eh, tenemos cinco personas 
baleados que están en estable condición y tres que han fallecido, dos han fallecido en el carro que está chocado y uno es un, un correction officer del estado de, de la Florida que, que se falleció también en el hospital. Rezamos para ella y su familia, también a todas las víctimas aquí, rezamos por ella y nosotros no vamos a parar uh, de, de nuestra batalla contra la violencia, especialmente la violencia de arma. Eh, es un problema que, que nos afecta aquí a nosotros en el condado, pero también en este país. Tú lo ves en toda la ciudad eh, por este país, ahí lo estás viendo aquí y nosotros, no, nos, nosotros oficiales no vamos a parar fajando esto y vamos a estar trabajando este, este caso hasta que arrestamos los que estamos responsables por este acto de, de sino cobarde, son asesinos y tenemos que remover esta, estos asesinos de nuestra comunidad. El tiroteo no ocurrió en la escuela de Miami Dade Park. No, el tiroteo no ocurrió ahí, fue aquí, adelante de, de, esta, de esta tienda aquí. Entonces, en el hospital de Jackson South tenemos a seis que fueron baleados, uno, una murió, sí. y tenemos dos muertos que están en el, en, en el carro. Sí, sí, en el hospital, eh, que tienen herida, uno fallecido en el hospital y dos fallecidos aquí en la cena, adelante de Miami Dade County South. Sí. ¿Cómo aquí no ocurrió esto? Y... A, la do, a las 2 de la mañana. Dijo que dos carros se acercaron. Sí, y... habían dos carros en la área. Eh, parece que un, un Chevy Malibu oscuro y otro Toyota Camry blanco. Estamos buscando que estaban cazando estas víctimas, se parece. Y, y dispararon a, a, a las víctimas y se fueron de la área. Y tenemos el otro carro chocado contra la pared. Obviamente hablo de su programa, el programa que salió esta semana. Sí, hemos sido va varios arrestos, hemos, hemos recuperado varios armas y mira el problema que estamos eh, enfocados aquí con la, la violencia. Son eh, criminales que, que esperan al momento, eh, cazan sus víctimas y cuando tienen el momento disparan y no, no le importa quién está parado ahí, disparan. Entonces lo que tenemos es familias eh, destruidas por los actos de estos cobardes asesinos. Director, yo sé que empezamos un operativo recién el jueves, pero claramente no vamos a poder solucionar todos los problemas en tres días. Esto es un tiempo, esto es un operativo de largo plazo, ¿no? Para poder combatir la violencia. Sí, es una operación de 12 semanas, pero este problema no es solamente aquí en esta comunidad, es un problema en este país y hay que hacer, hay que hacer cosas para parar esto porque esto no puede seguir así. No puede seguir. Esto no es solamente en Miami-Dade County, es este país. Todas las ciudades están teniendo estos problemas y, y hay que trabajar duro. No podemos parar. Tenemos que salvar esta comunidad. ¿Y el oficial Mucho de correccional sí. estaba atendiendo la fiesta o estaba trabajando? No, estaba era atendiendo so, la fiesta y es inocente. Okay. Los sospechosos...